Hey, happy Monday to you. Before we get to football, a shout out to the Ridgefield Sputters, two time state champion volleyball team. Congratulations, a perfect season for the Sputters. Hey, state football was this week. We got highlights from Camus, we got highlights from Hawkinson, we got highlights from La Center. And I'll talk a little bit of La Center swimming too. Hey, let's get to the football highlights. We'll start with Camus, Class 4A state playoffs. Here you go. The Camus papermakers were fired up for the first round of the state playoffs. Camus scored early. This pass from Blake Asciutto to Jackson Clemmer. Jacques Bodolato Birdsell with the first of his three touchdown runs. Later, Gabe Gio got close on one play, then scored a play later. The Camus special teams made plays too. Here, Colby Broadbent with the blocked punt. Another touchdown pass to Clemmer. The Camus defense shined all night. Charlie Bump with the pass defense here. The defense shut down Eastmont's running game. And on this play, Bump gets the interception. Look at this determination by Gio. Botolato Birdsell finished with 155 yards from scrimmage. Final score, Camus 41, Eastmont 0. From Camus, we head to Battleground, where Hawkinson was playing in the first round of the Class 2A state playoffs. Hawkinson trailed at halftime, but dominated the second half to advance to the quarterfinals. The Hawks trailed 15 to seven at halftime, but came out for the second half with a renewed energy. <laughs> Liam Mallory's second interception of the game led to the go-ahead touchdown. <laughs> Levi Crum made it 19-15 Hawkinson. Then his pass to Mallory for two points made it 21-15. Much to the delight of head coach Rick Steele. The Hawks took advantage of Ellensburg miscues and the Hawkinson defense got the second half shutout. Fourth and short, the Hawks convert. Then Levi Crum seals the game with this first down run. Hawkinson advances to the state quarterfinals. Not this one. I'm proud of you. 
Way to battle. Good job. Coach, you got your lead? Hey, don't forget special teams, Coach. They did a heck of a job, too. Yeah, special teams, too. Good job. Hey, 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 real quick. You better bring a bigger steak if you're going to stab us in the heart and knock us out of the playoffs. Yeah! Yeah! Hey, let's go celebrate. And in the center, the Wildcats got a home game for the playoffs, but they did not prevail in a defensive battle. The La Center Wildcats were thrilled to be home for the state playoffs. The center had some moments in this game as well. But in the end, the center lost a defensive battle 17 to seven. Hey, more football. Hey, Washougal, congratulations to the Panthers. First state playoff victory since 1974. They did it in dramatic fashion too, scoring with a minute to go to take the lead over Clarkston. Hey, four other teams made it to state but did not win uh, Friday and Saturday. Congratulations to Prairie, Ridgefield, Union, and Skyview for uh, representing Southwest Washington and making it to state. Hey, back to volleyball, I gotta say a shout out to Ridgefield again. Wow, what a performance. A perfect season, two times in a row winning a state volleyball title. The two AGSHL rules. Oh, and they don't just rule in volleyball, they rule in so many sports. Three teams from the two AGSHL are going to the final four in soccer. Ridgefield, Columbia River, Hawkinson, all made it to the final four that'll be this coming weekend. And one final salute to the La Center swim team. Haley Grady and Brianna Ungs won individual titles the first time for La Center to do that in swimming. Hey, keep a track of ClarkCountyToday.com all week. An incredible week of sports coming up. We got the soccer, we got more football, and some volleyball too.